Welcome to the Corps Report. I'm Corporal Clayton Filipovich. And I'm Corporal Allie Beiswinger. This past week has been filled with motivation. If you couldn't tell by your newsfeed, it was our 239th birthday. The Commandant joined in on the Esprit de Corps by leading a motor run to the Marine Corps War Memorial. And in case you missed it, General Dumford shared the motivation on his new Twitter account. You can now follow at Jen Dumford. During Veterans Day, the country took a moment to honor service members past and present. We caught up with some Marine vets at Arlington National Cemetery as they paid tribute to their fallen comrades. Every one of these people, their family, you saw people have been out of the Marine Corps for 10, 15 years. They heard about it, they came up here, because once a Marine, always a Marine, this is a family day, and this is an event they want to be a part of. You can view the full video on our YouTube channel. Ten years ago, on November 7th, Marines started Operation Phantom Fury, the second battle for Fallujah. Phantom Fury is considered the bloodiest battle of the war in Iraq. 82 of the estimated 12,000 U.S. troops who took part in the battle were killed, and another 600 were wounded. The Marines and Sailors of the 1st Marine Division commemorated the 10-year anniversary of the battle with a ceremony at Camp Pendleton. If you're on YouTube, you can catch the full ceremony at the link in the video description. Remember, you can catch up on everything else going on around the Corps by logging on to our official social media sites. Thanks for watching, everyone. We'll see you next payday. Right here on the Corps Report.